A forward rate agreement, or FRA in short, is a derivative contract that has a future interest rate as its underlying. LIBOR is most often used as the underlying rate. US dollar LIBOR refers to the rates on euro dollar time deposits into bank US dollar loans in London. The point of entering into an FRA is to lock in a certain interest rate for borrowing or lending at some future date. For example, Green is a borrower and he anticipates that he'll need to take a 100,000 90-day loan 30 days from now. The current market rate that he can borrow at is 90-day LIBOR rate of 3% and he's concerned that the LIBOR would have risen by the time he actually takes the loan. What he can do is to take the loan alongside of a forward rate agreement with a notional principal of $100,000. By entering this contract, he agrees to be the fixed rate payer. In return, he receives floating rate payments from the short. The short can be a lender or investor who has a sum to lend in the future and wants to lock in the current interest rate. So, for example, Red anticipates that he'll receive $100,000 in 30 days and is concerned that the interest rate may fall in the next 30 days. He locks in the current rate by taking the short position against Green. By entering the FRA, changes in the future rate will not affect him. As the short, Red has to pay Green the floating rate at expiration of the contract. So Green and Red enter into a 30-day forward rate agreement with a current one-year LIBOR of 3% as the reference rate on a notional value of $100,000. As with forward contracts, no payment is made at initiation. The payment is only made at settlement. FRA are usually cash settled with the payment based on the net difference between the spot interest rate and the reference rate in the contract. So as in this case, since the long has to pay the short to a higher rate, the net difference in rate on the notional principal is paid from the long to the short. The calculation of the actual amount to pay should be left to the level 2 curriculum. After settlement, Green Party can take a $100,000 loan at the current LIBOR rate as he has intended. Note that even though he takes the loan at 2.7% LIBOR rate, when we take into account the net cash amount paid to the short, the effective interest rate that he paid is closer to the 3% reference rate. So the long has lost out for entering the FRA in this case. The red party can also lend the 100,000 that it now has at the LIBOR rate. For him, even though the rate that he lends at is 2.7%, when we take into account the net amount that he receives from the long, the effective interest that he receives is closer to the reference rate of 3%. So the short in this case has benefited for entering the FRA. Note that the FRA contract only applies from its initiation to the settlement date. What either party does after settlement is not within the terms of the contract. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At PrepNuggets, let us do the hard work for you.